song. Family Guy has been around since 1999, and whenever it's time for the Emmys, they don't give us one. I'm sick of it. Well, I'm not making another episode with The Simpsons. What did that get us? I'll tell you what it got us. More ink for The Simpsons. Yeah. Do you think he has sent us shoes made from banana leaves? Boy, the, uh, the ethnic characters on these Emmy-winning shows aren't exactly rocket scientists, are they? I don't know what you're talking about, Liz Lemon. No, this is something I ordered. I think gender reassignment surgery is very brave, and the fat man should win some kind of award for it. The fat woman. He hasn't chopped it off yet. That doesn't matter. Peter already identifies as a woman. And on Bazinga Father, assuming father is still the appropriate designation. What, what are you doing? Waiting for the laugh to die down. I'm here because I've decided to become the woman I am inside. Can you find it in your heart to accept? Because if Louis C.K. likes something, everyone has to. That's right. Well, I'm glad my popularity has cooled off just enough that you were able to get me to do this. Bye, Peter. Boy, he's not afraid to go there, I'm told. I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. Oh! Ew. Okay, okay. All right, don't want one that bad. Peter, I'd like to introduce the surgeon who will perform your procedure today. Dr. Wang... You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah! yeah! And that is how I became your mother. So the Emmy committee watched our submission for best... No, Chris, it's Mr. Robot. Chicken! Mr. Robot. Chicken! No, no, Chris, you see, Mr. Robot is a critically acclaimed show. Robot Chicken is something kids used to watch in 2006. It's basically four minutes of nonsense. Oh, what a twist. Shh. Hey, Dad. Sure must be tough having a son with goofy noodle legs like mine. Chris, I love you, no matter how useless you are on a paddle boat. The bills and meds for our daughter in the CIA. Damn, she's good at her job. How are we ever going to pay all these bills that have been perfectly ripped across the tops of the words past due are visible? <laughs> Shipping. Well, I am pulling a heist at a meth lab. I suppose I could use the help. Great! You won't regret this. When it comes to selling drugs, you and me will be a better team than the old lady's eyeballs on Downton Abbey. Even a kid? Especially a kid. You gotta kill a kid at least once a season to make people go, Oh, I can't believe they killed a kid! Let's go. <laughs> Brian, call off this drone strike. Dad needs us. Damn it, Meg, we're about to take out the head of ISIS. <laughs> that was badass how it went from the guy burning up to the barbecue, right? Best director. Hey, Peter, I was thinking about this Emmy thing. What's the most acclaimed drama of all time? The Sopranos. Right. Mr. Robot. Chicken! Chris, get back in the house! My whole plan, falling apart like a house of cards. You know, growing up in Gaffney, my daddy always said... I... Are you leaving me? No, Peter. I'm helping you kill that cop. Because I'm darker than you and the audience ever thought. What a twist. For five long... Won't. You. Die! Whoa! I did not see that coming. One more. Let's watch one more. Well, hold on. Like all television viewers, our first priority before deciding to continue watching a show should be whether or not it features enough diversity. To win an Emmy, stop. 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 Is that all? No, there's another from Fleetwood Mac. Don't stop, stop. Thinking about tomorrow, stop. And here's one from the Supreme. Stop, stop. In the name of love, stop. Are you finished? Are you asking me to stop, stop? Peter, close... Chris is playing my dummy nephew. Our family actually lines up really well for this. Best competitive reality show! Four? Never. This is my first time. All right, now, a lot of these scenes are going to be you interacting with someone else, so I'll just come around and read with you. Now, since I'm holding the camera, I'm going to need some help with my belt buckle. 
here for two reasons. First, to find out who that Asian girl was on the couch, and second, to tell you that Family Guy will never, ever win an Emmy. Okay, first of all, that was Asa Akira. I think you knew that. Second, are you saying there's a conspiracy? I've been calling you all night. Where the hell have you been? No time to explain. This Emmy thing goes deep. The same people win year after year after year. It's like there's some kind of secret society that takes all the awards and is keeping us from getting- We'll tell you. Your show sucks. Peter, I'm famous writer Aaron Sorkin. Walk and talk with me. You wouldn't know my work because I don't write for Jugs magazine. Let me explain writing to you. You can't take a scene from Ferris Bueller- When nothing happened! It was a complete waste of everyone's time! Well, I'm glad all this Emmy nonsense Starring Ty Burrell. Good night! Shh. Shh. I don't have any more room in my house. Okay, all right, everybody just calm down. It might just be Grandpa. Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bat. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this... What's wrong? Are we taking a terrible 7 a.m. flight? No, no, I realize to catch a bat, I need to live like a bat. So I gotta be up at night. It's a nocturnal mission, Lois. Okay, but what are you gonna do? Before I act. Oh, hey, high five. Hey, did you just high five that sign? Yeah. You think differently. Get in. Oh, thank you so much for coming in early, Dr. Hartman. Oh, no problem. Hell, I used to work here. What? Good news. Stewie's hand looks fine. Oh, hey, high five. Uh, like a million? But I don't remember having to read any of this when Chris and Meg had their vaccinations. Well, that was before internet chat rooms made everybody an expert. It's a better world now. I don't know about this, Dr. Hartman. We might need a little bit of time to... Hey, you guys, is that my laptop? Yeah, sorry. We were looking something up. We were gonna get Stewie vaccinated, but now, after our research, we're definitely not. Oh, no, Lois, don't... But then I did some research, and I found some very interesting things from the leader of the anti-vaccination movement, Jenny McCarthy. See? Proof. Hard to argue with that. Who got chicken pox? Dad, this is acne. Girl, you nasty. You realize the vast majority of people think you're wrong. Well, maybe that's the problem. We just gotta change their minds. We're getting this town to change its mind about vaccination. I don't believe this. It's bad enough you guys aren't vaccinating Stewie. Now you're trying to convince other people to make the same reckless choice? I'm also gonna pet a bunch of dogs without asking. Don't do that. We don't like that. Then I'm gonna try and look at their teeth. Brian, all we want is for parents to have the... Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> By the companies who make them? Excuse me, are you the lady selling the bullhorn? What? No. I'm over here! Oh, damn it. This doesn't seem to be working. Well, obviously, Lois, you can't just go to a park and listen. I love you, but mostly I love that you let me eat crackers in the bed. Damn! Thank you! The facts about vex. Fact. Vaccinations cause autism, paralysis, and even death, 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 death. Fact. Vaccinate rhymes with masturbate. Would what the hell is all this? I'm trying to protect myself from all those diseases I'm not vaccinated against. Speaking of which, do you have any idea the germs you routinely track? Do you even realize the harm you've caused? Harm? What are you talking about? I'm making the world a better place. Like when I was the Instagram police. Sorry, lady, gotta crop the church. Always. 
All right, Stewie, see you after school. Wait a minute, where are all the other kids? Haven't you heard? There's been an outbreak of measles. It's all because everyone stopped vaccinating their kids. Oh, my God. And it's not just our school. Thanks, Swanson. We'll take it from here. It's a state matter now. No way. This is my town. Thanks, guys. The feds will take it from here. Oh, no. This is my state. Hi, I'm a crossing guard who can walk, so I have jurisdiction over all of you. Spit that to the next person. Peter, Brian's right. We were wrong about everything. We've got to get to the hospital and get Stewie vaccinated. Yeah, it might be a little too late for that. I kind of destroyed all the vaccines in town. All the vaccines? Yeah, but it's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Is anyone else feeling feverish, achy, and acutely sensitive to light? Oh, my God, Peter, you've got measles. Now, hold on, hold on. Before we all freak out, it might just be full body hurt. I'm recommending you go on a strict diet immediately. Nope. Horses that make it look like I can walk, take me to Hollywood. It was great. We had great weather, fired up the barbecue. Sheila's parents came up towards the end of the when week. When are you going to get those off? Meg, you must... Ah, it's just Billy. He died of measles. And here comes Marmaduke to lick up the vomit. Lucky. There's the bridge out of town! So we're all there at the clan, just kind of making music together. Oh, my orthotic was in there. Stewie! Where are you? Lois, what's going on? That's one of my sidekick's wives. He says he's in charge of the group. Sean Penn? That's right. Two-time Oscar winner Sean Penn. What are you doing here? I'm bringing vaccines into your quarantine town. Anytime there's a public health crisis in a third world land. I hope you realize that vaccinations are not a freedom of choice issue. They're a public health issue. Thanks to them, countless serious diseases, mumps, polio, smallpox, and rubella have been all but eradicated, like clean water and functional schools. Do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got her number. How do you like them apples? Oh, bet, Damon, you got the best of me again.